My name is Senzo Mayo, Orlando Pirates goalkeeper, and I've been 10 years at Orlando Pirates. Senzo Mayo's last game was one of his best games played, and it was on a very, very rainy day for the Orlando Pirates. And these are some of the highlights from that game, not knowing that the very next day he will be shot at his girlfriend's house, O'Kelly Kumalo. Stay tuned until the end of this video because we're going to talk about Sfiso Meiwa, what he had to say about Okininda, um, Gomez Zulu, and what he had to say about Docket 375. Don't miss it. I said this in 2019, mm. and I'm saying this even today. Mm. I'll keep on saying this till it is proven, because we've got evidence. I know Kininda is lying. This is how he operates. Most people, they don't know Brigadier Kininda. I know him. I've followed his cases. He doesn't know that I know him as much as I know him. He doesn't know that. He's lying. Kelly, as I'm about to abandon. Mundo atubulusa nzo na maning sash. Why la benzin? But a bam project. A version that Senzo was killed by someone who was inside that house. Yes. A man ning sash wabula o mundo ay senzin. Abel kabanda ba tengo. I can cabin. I can cabin at ten of Zobula Mund in Genim Shire one bullet in cabin. He shall was Andy, he shall was Andy and do was and Joba Bangana, no kill Bangana Basha in cab. Milan's on the police station, Yara was twenty low, Nanza Marquesis, Wabonil and Marquesis, a mahit man. I was in cabin Genin, in Shire one bullet, it's in your cockamali. I was with Lalamatas on in Ghana. Yayas lem don't shall you boo. Full of Baba Fanamo, I check on my cases abo. Labbing and a corner of Machita, available by our ends, I lent a banza. Labbing and a corner of Bashang a colut. Uma Bengani, but two black one, Bashang Shing and Nan. La Papa Bangashi, there's a Wulam Dum Kluan, the Bashu Faz of Naga. You can dance with Lalamata zoning on it. I don't believe that. What in our advocate to Baloi? Advocate to Baloi in things as well. In Tosso Zaka Zonuk solve a case. Advocate to Balo, we are going to kill him to come among. We are what advocates Balo he lied before the court of law. What come among our two cases 375 are ours from the beginning of the trial. And my lord, I failed to indicate that the second docket has not been disclosed. And I was promised Which to get is that 375. Then I was promised to, to, to get the docket. No, oh, you remember, is that the Nongoma one? No, 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 no it's not. It's not the all the councils. Captain he told me some Gomezuli, he'll get it straight after the proceedings. I don't know why he's raising that. No, no. We, we made arrangements this morning <laughs> that he'll get it straight away after the... No. Yes. I said him, he can accompany us to the office. We'll give him copies of the document. Okay. They say if you accompany them, you'll get it now, 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 now. Okay, thanks. We can get until the 15th. <laughs> Ten past four, Zanzi, as advocate Valoi is caught in a lie, says um, Usfiso Meiwa, sends Meiwa's brother, as he says, advocate Valoi lied before the court of law and said he doesn't know case docket 375 and then last week in the last session with judge writer advocate Valoi, well, Ngome Zulu snuck it in, brought back up um case 375 and said to the judge i I also need to get the, the documents for 375 advocate baloi immediately stands up and he says to ngome zulu we told advocate ngome zulu he will get it after the proceedings today i don't know why he is raising that we made arrangements we made arrangements this morning he can accompany us to the office he will get copies of the document and what does judge rata do he starts laughing and giggling because and then he reiterates hey you just have to follow them they say follow them to the office you will get those documents i found this the reason why i put these two together is because i was like wait a minute i know there was a time where uh Swiso may you have mentioned this docket and you know it was kind of um disputed that baloi knows about it but to actually hear baloi mention 375 on the record by the way which i believe advocate Valoi, um advocate ngomezulu did on purpose to bring that up on the record to the new judge judge rata um so that it is actually on record and no one can say 
it was not mentioned because if you notice throughout the case, Docket 375 hasn't been officially acknowledged by Judge Rata. So this is literally the first time. So when we resume court on the 15th, it's going to be very, very interesting. One, because Ungo Mizulu is going to read all the files, the 9,000 pages. He's going to read the 9,000 pages, bring himself up to speed. They're going to have their ballistic expert who is very, very busy and very, very expensive. They've got to figure out how they're going to pay him amongst the five of them over there. Who's going to pay for what? Um, for this guy to come to court because guess what it's not the state bringing in this witness so therefore his transportation costs are not covered but wow i mentioned this before and just going back to listen to it again very very interesting let's continue listening on your thoughts in the comment section Mzansi. did ngomezulu throw advocate valoi under the bus did ngomezulu do that on purpose uh, or it's just you know the way court proceedings go and it just happened to happen that way it seemed though that advocate Maloy was a bit frustrated with him bringing it up in court again even though they spoke about it separately i guess in chambers and now why are you bringing this up in court why why do you gotta bring this up in court <laughs> in front of the judge the judge who holds me in high respect now you're gonna make me look like i'm a liar but usfiso um, you have said advocate baloi lied before the court of law and said he doesn't know 375 but now he knows it enough to even make copies wow and maybe is this a change of heart because of the testimony by officer makubo comment down below let me know your thoughts on that but let's get back to usfiso <laughs> Case 375. Well, around March, February. Last year, again, almost six months. Go to fear and don't look at my man. What's a galas little? We are foot any door. We go in and was he, which is cut his man. We all look who's an agbona band book alalaba confessions. And do advocate to balloe a was no goody. La machita corner of five. Who corner and abana babins is some confession bet babula lucent bap man. Let let me just go ahead and interpret what Sfiso Mayu is saying here. He's saying that this is not the first time where fake people have been made to confess for the killing of Usenzo Mayua. And he says that there were, there's another case where another set of five had to go and do it. And he says he knows a lot, but he doesn't want to go into too many details because the case is still ongoing. But what he knows about this case is that one, one guy wanted to confess to the crime and when he got in front of the magistrate, that magistrate said, go away. This is not true. You are lying. Now, the reason I bring this up is because did we not hear that? Um, and I know this happened a lot in the comment section of my previous video, previous videos, a couple of videos back, maybe four videos back where I was talking about the magistrate who was the witness. And um, she was saying that she's just a magistrate. Her job was just to take down the testimony, not question the testimony. She didn't ask any questions. And Ngomezulu was questioning her, pinning her down. Why didn't you, um, you know, recognize that this was a false confession, blah, blah, blah. Well, most people in the comment section were saying, no, her job, even Rata as well, was saying, no, her job is just to take the testimony, write it down, not ask any questions or add any of her opinion. But here's Fiso here giving us a direct example. He doesn't name the magistrate of the case. Well, the case is the same as a case. It doesn't name that magistrate, but that magistrate refused. So therefore, that magistrate exercised discretion and said, no, this is a false statement. This is a false confession and did not take the confession. Therefore, whoever that was, um, obviously isn't sitting there in the docks. Your comments on that uh, observation, Mzansi, are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? Does that make sense? Should uh, Magistrate Kronje have questioned Danzi's confession, the fact that he hadn't passed and all those other things that, um, you know, led to Danzi saying, he was forced into that confession. Let me know in the comment section down below. Advocate Balo and I, who be going over and having to your poor mugly case and over who seven son and okay, in the woods bends the corruption. The court heard that there is evidence that uh, 
data from Kelly's phone was deleted just after hours following the murder of your brother. And according to the court, there is some evidence that links to Kelly with some of the accused there. All this evidence that is being led in court, what do you make of it? Evidence evidence. They say in one of the you know phones there was a picture of bags of money that was found in Kelly's phone and also in one of the accused self. It's also been alleged that uh, one of the accusers said that Ukininda basically made an offer of 3 million rand to say they must confess for killing Lusenzo, but he is denying that in court. Yes, yes. Logo gati ngangusho ngoba, ifemeli asichela lo kuti, waba ofarisha leo male u 3 million. Bakona na banyi futi kubona laba fano kwa ofarisha kwa zikwa yuwa ngishuma femeli zaabu. Be ofarishi mdeni, enyi femeli yaasho. I'm not fighting for my family only, Gemanji. I'm fighting for our nation. Because una banda ban ningu ne mdenem ningi e safari shayo because of pregatia ukininda. Una ma families aluze ama bread winners. Amba anye bawa la ma families la ma bread winners abe ama poisa. Pregatia kamba manga ati altati poisa el chila tufunu wenzi. I corruption na lo shamba tangu juu kesi chile i poisa linga abe basi lvole lita ala albo pelo lo poisa kundezele pregati yuko ni ndo sabi nzana ni kule ipezu la South Africa uwenza yangu lo corruption court is kati si eza ya kule kuchunguku kula sisi abe na ati ngoba le kuzi la South Africa zia kumbi suta zimi sile nguuti zim kundezele zivezi ngoto shaga lewa kini ndege pa ya kolo kutunkulu kulu zoba nati ago ale taba ndaba zo pata le lilizwe abazo veza abazo kaita lengo shara ngu baba kona wanda funu pata le lilizwe abazo wendi nde right kuna la baba pet Spiso Mayuas says he will not stop fighting because he's doing this for other families as well families where innocent people breadwinners are being charged with crimes that they did not commit um Zansi your comments in the comment section down below if you've made it this far in the video please make sure you drop me a comment like this video so that I know you stopped by unless you like the video I don't know that you watch the video so drop me a comment even if it's just to say hello or to leave an emoji it will make me happy thanks so much for watching catch you on our next upload